Hey there, and welcome to The Slumberyard. I'm Wes, and over here we usually review online beds, we do comparisons, we do best lists, and we do buyer guides, but this is gonna be a little different video. Instead, we're gonna go over the five things that you need to know if you're shopping for a new mattress. So let's get into it. All right, so before I get into the five things that you need to know when shopping for a new mattress, I do wanna say that if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button, it means a lot to us, and you can always subscribe to this channel for so much more. But let's just get into it and talk about number one, which is budget. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to know when you're shopping for a new bed online is how much money are you willing to spend? You know, are you looking for a budget option? You're looking for something in the mid tier, maybe a luxury product, or you just want something that's a bit premium. Budget is a huge factor and it might be the biggest factor when shopping for a new bed. So if you're on a strict budget, you know, we would say that's anywhere from zero to $800. And obviously you're not gonna get anything for $0, but you know, the closer you get to that 800, you can get some really quality choices. We really love the Nectar mattress, All's Well, and the Dream Foam Doze. Those are some really great budget options that we've tested over here. Now, say you're looking for a mattress and you got a little bit more to spend, we would consider that mid-tier, anywhere from the 800 to you know the $1,500 range, somewhere in there. And for us, we really love the Layla mattress. You can get some great Casper beds in there as well. Even a lot of the Dreamcloud mattresses and Lisa has some really great mid-tier options. Now, if you're moving up another step on the ladder, we would consider this premium, and that's anywhere from $1,500 to around the $2,500 mark. And for that, you can get beds like Avocado, Sattva, Wink Bed, even some Helix Lux beds as well. Now above that, we have the luxury tier, and these are beds that are gonna be costing you a pretty penny, anywhere above the $2,500 mark and up. And in this tier is a lot of Tempur-Pedic beds. You have Purple's top tier line, like the Purple Rejuvenate. You can get the Casper Snow Max or the Casper Dream Max. You can get the Luxury Organic from Avocado. And you know, the more that we review beds over here at the Slumberyard, the more we see these you know, extra luxury mattresses start to come around. Now mattresses, like all products, you can spend a lot or a little, and you're gonna get quality options in pretty much any tier you go with. So just do some research and find out what's gonna work for you. And I'm gonna mention again that any coupon codes or discount codes that we have on any of these beds will be linked down below in the description box if you'd like to use them. Now the second thing that you should know when shopping for a new mattress is sleeping preference. So are you a back sleeper, a stomach sleeper, a side sleeper, or a combination sleeper that does a couple in one night? You know, based on what we've found out over here at the Slumberyard, we noticed that most combination sleepers and side sleepers prefer softer mattresses. So if that's you, maybe just know that going in, you want something that'll be a little bit on the firmer end of things or right at a medium. A medium will work for pretty much all sleeper types, so it could work for you as well, and that's a good, you know, safe choice. Now, maybe you're a back or stomach sleeper. Based on our research, we've seen that most of them prefer firmer mattresses, but hey, maybe you're a little bit different and you're a side sleeper that wants a firm bed, that could be you as well, but just know what kind of sleeper you are before getting into all that. If you're a combination sleeper, we usually recommend something around a medium. That's also a really good choice if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, but just take all of these preferences with a grain of salt because, you know, you might be a little bit different and be that side sleeper who wants something a bit firmer you know, that's totally up to you. Now, the third thing that you should know about shopping for a bed online is feel. What exactly are you looking for in a bed's feel? Do you want something that's really responsive, that's gonna bounce right back into shape almost instantly? Do you want something that's gonna be a dense, viscous memory foam, something that you lay down on and you're gonna slowly start to sink into? Do you want something that's completely unique or a combination of a couple different feels? Well, that's what we're talking about now. So obviously a very popular type of feel is a memory foam feel. And this is obviously for anyone who wants to sink into their bed and really have the bed conform to your body. You know, if you have some achy pressure points, that might work great because the bed will pretty much provide a lot of support under your trunk, hips, shoulders, and pretty much everywhere. There are a couple different types of memory foam. You have beds like Nectar or Tempur-Pedic where they're very dense and viscous. Those are gonna be really slow to respond and when you do lay down on them, they might feel a little bit firm at first until you sink into them. Then you've got beds with more of a light, airy, responsive memory foam. That's a bed like a Layla mattress. That's something that will respond a lot quicker. Also an Amerisleep bed has that responsive memory foam feel. You know, It's not gonna be very dense and viscous, instead the opposite. Now, if you are a combination sleeper who likes to change between different positions constantly, these beds might be a great option for any combination sleepers. You know, We don't usually recommend most combo sleepers go for something with a dense, viscous memory foam feel, just cause it takes the bed a bit to catch up to you. And that can be a little bit distracting. 
Now, I should mention that most memory foam beds will retain a lot of heat just because it's just one big old surface. There's not usually a lot of holes. Sometimes the beds do have sleeping tech, and that's always nice. But in general, most memory foam beds will sleep a little bit warmer. Now, the next type of feel is pretty much going to be the opposite of a memory foam, and that would be a latex foam feel. So this is going to be a really durable, spongy, responsive kind of feel. And instead of sinking down into the bed, you're pretty much going to be buoyant on top of it. Latex foam is really bad bouncy, supportive, and it's actually made from the sap of a rubber tree that's been fired off into a mold, so it is naturally occurring. Most brands that use latex foam get their certifications or are completely organic and anything like that. And a lot of combination sleepers might really like a latex foam bed because instead of sinking in, you'll pretty much be on top of it. And when you change between different sleeping positions, the bed will keep up with you changing as well. Now, directly compared to memory foam, this one won't retain as much heat because it's got some perforated holes and because you're sleeping more more on top of the surface. So that's something in terms of temperature regulation to know about latex foam. Now, another type of feel we're always talking about over here at the Slumberyard is a soft neutral one or a soft neutral hybrid feel. And that's basically gonna be something that has some pocketed coils or just some support foam, and then just a really neutral foam as its main comfort foam layers. Think about, you know, a Lisa mattress or some of the old Casper models. Maybe the Casper Dream Max is gonna be that soft hybrid feel. Anything that's just gonna be really accommodating, we usually say that nine out of 10 sleepers will probably be able to sleep many nights on this bed. It's something that if you put in your guest room or you know an Airbnb, your guests would really like it. In general, just a soft neutral feel is gonna be a really safe choice and something that most people will be able to get by on. Most of the time, beds with these soft neutral feels will use some memory foam in its transition layer or something like that, but you're not really gonna feel it. Instead, it'll just be really soft and neutral and basically comfortable. Some great examples are Lisa, the Brooklyn Bedding Signature, or Tuft & Needle, if you're going the route of something with a soft neutral feel. Now, the last feel I'm gonna go over is something that's gonna be a bit more proprietary, and we would also say this is gonna be something unique, and the main one that comes to mind is purple. So purple's got a feel that basically no other mattresses kind of have. It's got a soft and firm thing going on at the exact same time. Some people find it really great, others not so much, so it is really divisive. But if you wanna learn more about purple, check down below in the description. We'll link some of our other purple content just because I'm trying to go a little quicker in this video. Now, obviously you can have combinations of these different types of feels. You know, a ghost bed is something that has more of a mixed foam feel. It's got kind of a cross between a memory foam and a soft neutral foam. So some beds can also have, you know, kind of a cross pollinization in the field department, but in general, those are the main ones. Now, the fourth thing that I should talk about is body type, and that will pretty much go hand in hand with the type of mattress you decide to go with. So if you're a bit more petite or a medium sized person, you can go for a bed that's an all foam mattress or a bed with pocketed coils, but we usually recommend anyone who's a bit larger above the 200 to 250 pound range should go for a hybrid mattress. And that's something that uses pocketed coils in combination with some foams. In our opinion, hybrid beds just provide a lot of long-term support and durability for those bigger body types. You get a little bounce as well, and it'll probably just last you a bit longer. You know, obviously heavier people or anyone in the medium, large XL range could go for an all foam bed, but it might just wear out a little bit faster on you since you have more mass. All foam beds are exactly like they sound. They just use all foam layers inside the construction of the mattress, so they won't have any coils or any inner spring units. So, you know, if you don't want something that has a bunch of bounce, you might wanna go for an all foam bed. And if you are looking at something that's like a pure latex bed, that will also be an all foam mattress. Now, the last different type of bed would probably be any cooling mattresses. And this could be great for anyone who sleeps a bit hot. You know, if you tend to wake up in the middle of the night sweating or you're just always too hot when you wake up, maybe go for a cooling bed. And in our opinion, there are a few that are always making our best cooling beds list. And we'll link that list along with those beds down below in that description box for you to check out. But in general, there's just a lot of mattress brands putting cooling tech in their mattresses. And you know, I do wanna be honest with you, some of it works, some of it doesn't, and some of it is just marketing noise. So definitely do your research when looking into cooling beds. And you know, you'll probably always be spending up for more cooling features, so just know all that. Off the top of my head, we really love the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora, the Casper Snow Max bed is super great, and there's also a really cool attachment you can get for any mattress called the Eight Sleep Pod Pro Cover. That basically just attaches on top of your bed. That's the thing that we've seen works the most to really cool you down and it can even heat you up as well. I used it a couple summers ago and it was interesting. I wasn't gonna keep it forever, but it was a cool experience to have. But maybe if you're like an elite athlete who wants to be 
super dialed in on the temperature you sleep at, maybe check something like that out. A lot of mattress brands do use cooling covers, which will make the cover of the mattress cool to the touch. But just know once you're putting on sheets, pillows, all that, all your bedding, it might not be as cooling as you once thought. In general, cooling, heating, and temperature regulation is a really subjective thing based on how hot you keep your room, the types of pajamas you're using, you know, how high you're turning that thermostat at night. So just keep all that in mind before judging the mattress. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about if you're buying a mattress online is gonna be policies. So what are you gonna get in terms of free shipping? Are you gonna get free shipping? Are you gonna get some sort of delivery service? You know, all that stuff, let's talk about it now. And most bed in a box mattresses will offer free shipping and the box will pretty much just be a big old four foot thing that you just drag inside your home and rip off all the packaging and the bed will basically pop right into shape. Another common shipping option is white glove delivery and that's where the bed will be full size ready to go and a delivery team will bring it to your home and usually set it up for you. Now with white glove delivery, you sometimes will have to pay an extra fee to get the bed to you or if you wanna return it, you'll have to pay a return fee. So just know all that going in, but white glove delivery can be a really great option, especially if it's free. If you live in a really hard to reach place or a high rise, or maybe you're just a bit older and can't move a whole mattress by yourself, maybe check out White Glove Delivery. Now, most beds are gonna have some sort of sleep trial and they range anywhere from 30 nights to we've seen all the way up to 18 months, that's the longest, but most of them are right between that 100 to one year trial period. And that's once the mattress is in your possession, you get to test it out in the comfort of your own home with your own sheets, your own pillow, and basically start to formulate your opinion on it and decide whether you wanna keep it or send it back. And luckily, most mattress brands these days offer free returns, but some of them are starting to add, you know, a return fee if you do decide to return them. So just know all that. And the last thing in the policy section is gonna be warranty. And most mattress brands that we see have a 10 year warranty. Some go above and beyond with, you know, a 20 year warranty, 25. And we've even seen some lifetime and forever warranties, which are pretty darn cool. Ultimately, if you are buying a bed online, there's a lot of consumer protections in terms of that trial period, in terms of those warranties and so much more. So you're definitely in good hands. But when you do decide to order a mattress, you should read all those policy details so you know exactly what is covered and what comes with your mattress purchase. But that is basically the five things to know if you're shopping for a new bed online. And the first one is budget. How much money do you have to spend? The second one is what kind of sleeper are you? Do you like to sleep on your back, side, stomach, or something else? The third is what feel are you looking for? Next is what type of mattress do you want? Something that's a hybrid, something that's an all foam or something different. And the last one is what kind of policies are you looking for? Are you gonna be moving constantly and you want something that has a nice warranty? Or do you just wanna try the bed for a full year before making your full decision? Maybe that's on your mind as well, but just know all those five things and I'm sure you're gonna be getting a great mattress someday soon. Now, if you happen to enjoy this video or you want any more information from our team, you can always subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes wishing you a good night's sleep.